Right. Oh, whoa, looks like we got a All right, all right, good morning. Oh shit, I hit the wrong door. I don't know why I do that. Well, good morning, like I said. So, new developments, new things. Really new things. Well, new things to me might be not new to somebody else, new to me. So you know what I've been saying, that basically parts are getting very difficult to find for our B-Series, Integras, even EGs, EKs. Hopefully the camera wasn't too damn close. I just realized that. Realized that. So I have, you probably already seen it, went and bought me a full-on parts car. I really only needed one part. But I said, you know what? I'll just buy the whole car from you. If you're not gonna sell me the one part that I absolutely want and I absolutely need in order to make this next transition of updates happen. So let's work out a price for the entire fucking car and I'll buy it from you. So this is what I bought. Right there. A nice four door Integra. Now before you knock it, let's go over some things that came with this car. All right. Some things that came with it that are not out here is a brand new set of tri wire headers, b series headers. So that's one thing, okay? I don't need them, but if I want to part them out, sell them, I can recoup some money. Another thing that came with it is a fucking OEM, not OEM, but an official Mugen front bumper, okay? That definitely is a premium, all right? Even in its used state. A Mugen front bumper still plated all of that good stuff is a good premium also came with a um, oh I'll probably save that for the other video I won't talk about that so let's go over the car and see basically what I got in this sale in this buy for me so right now look we do have exhaust what type of exhaust don't know don't really care it's a nice exhaust it's not all gaspy and raspy and bumblebee sassy so that's pretty good. Let's check this trunk. In the trunk, right here, full on. I didn't even look completely in here because I got it the other evening. A full size spare. I'm loving that. I just noticed there are some things underneath this spare. So why don't we check that out? Pull this out of here. All right, full spare right there. Looks like, oh. Whoa, looks like we got an oil filter relocation kit. Holy snap. Didn't know that. Didn't see that. Just did. That is cool to find. Nice. Okay, so that's a plus. Didn't know that was in there. What else do we have in here? Some belts. Don't know how many belts we need, but got a quite a few. Don't really know what they go to. We can look up the part number and check that out um here oh okay so here's the oh okay so now i know what type of release it was it's pretty you know generic looks like at one point in time there was an amp or something in here uh because that's in here i don't really want to touch that bag just yet probably should have put on some gloves but oh well all right so right here i love this check that out volk racing wheels cross drilled and slotted front and rear disc brake decent tires on here all right so we got a nice set of volk racing wheels cross drill slotted rotors that's definitely a plus all right let's get this key out now it is a four door so you see right here tinted windows already sunroof cool i mean do i really care about the sunroof thing no not really but it's it's the point that these are amenities that are going to be highly sought after even if i don't use them myself which I don't think that sunroof will work in the DC. So it's definitely not my concern. I'm definitely not worried about the sunroof visor. I'm not doing that. So let's go ahead and look inside this car. All right. So what I did, steering wheel, tilt up system. Definitely uh, something not the same level as NRG. Missing the horn button, but who cares? Cluster, been modified. Doing good dash is awesome all right the dash i have not found a crack oh there's a one crack up there in the dash one little small crack but overall the dash was good interior pretty clean for oem rear leather seats all right 
let's uh tell you what let me pop this hood because there are quite some jewels in here quite some jewels let me pop this hood all right so got the battery connected let's get in here check this out nice double den head unit gotta love that double den head unit right there block punt not the best we have oh shit i did not even notice k-tune shifter damn what's this some type of damn shift knob but this is a k-tune shifter that's cool didn't see that the other the other day when i picked it up um does have 100 you know came with this little phone gadget gadget right there but i don't care about that but it's cool broadway mirror all right like i said rear seats right here i got a decent pry bar back there that's cool um oh still love some body armor here so definitely gonna go through here and clean up i see we have some rear deck speakers back there those are nice little decent speakers carpet's not really bad all right but the best thing about this vehicle second best thing about this vehicle all original four door gsr right there you can see it can you see that that is gsr b18 c1 gsr trans vtech kicked in and up oh, got some hood risers here hood risers don't really need that but hey and check this out password jdm three-point strut brace and boom, boom ibok dampening adjustable coilovers big plus right there too so as you see there's a big plus big pluses to this car along with all the extra stuff that i got and now i have parts you know to a degree if i need them now of course most of the body and the chassis stuff I mean the body stuff like the doors and stuff like I can't use interior some of the most interior parts I could use if I really need it I don't need the seats if I want to switch out and have another dash I definitely have that uh, column I definitely have that cluster I definitely have that so I do have some good things and you know this is all stuff that I could have on a resale value to recoup some money if I need to and now this is where this video ends and part two will begin at a later date